Is your car suddenly burning through fuel faster than usual, idling roughly, or feeling sluggish when you hit the gas? There's a good chance a small but essential part, called the manifold absolute pressure sensor, could be behind it. When this sensor begins to fail, it doesn't just make your vehicle run rough, it can drastically reduce your fuel economy, throw off engine timing, and lead to costly long-term damage if left untreated. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the most common signs that your manifold absolute pressure sensor is failing, what causes it, how to fix or replace it, and why addressing it early could save you hundreds in fuel costs and engine repairs. What the MAP sensor, the manifold absolute pressure sensor, does. The manifold absolute pressure sensor plays a crucial role in your vehicle's engine management system. It measures the pressure inside the intake manifold, which tells your engine's computer how much air is being drawn into the engine at any given time. With this data, the vehicle's computer can calculate the proper amount of fuel to inject for optimal combustion. In simpler terms, the sensor ensures that your engine gets the right air-to-fuel ratio. If the readings from the sensor are off, your car may run too rich, too lean, or unpredictably. This directly impacts performance, emissions, and fuel consumption. Now let's look at the early warning signs of a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor. When the MAP sensor starts to fail, your vehicle may exhibit a number of symptoms. One of the first things you might notice is a significant drop in fuel efficiency. Your miles per gallon may decrease even if your driving habits haven't changed. Alongside that, you may experience a rough or erratic idle, and your car might feel like it's struggling to stay running when stopped. Acceleration may feel sluggish or uneven, with moments where the car hesitates or jerks when you press the gas pedal. Starting the vehicle can also become more difficult, particularly on cold mornings. Some drivers also report a noticeable fuel smell or even see black smoke from the exhaust, indicating that the engine is receiving too much fuel because the sensor is not doing its job correctly. How the check engine light can help diagnose the problem. One of the most helpful clues that something is wrong with your manifold absolute pressure sensor is the check engine light. When the sensor begins to fail, it often sends erratic or incorrect signals to the engine control unit, triggering fault codes. These diagnostic trouble codes often include ones like P0106, which means the engine computer is seeing inconsistent pressure readings. Codes like P0107 and P0108 indicate that the sensor's voltage is too low or too high. In some vehicles, you may even see additional codes related to lean or rich fuel mixtures, such as P0171 or P0172. While these codes do not confirm a failed sensor on their own, they are a strong indicator that the sensor should be inspected and tested as part of your troubleshooting process. What causes the sensor to fail? There are several reasons why the manifold absolute pressure sensor can fail over time. Heat is a major factor. Located near the engine, the sensor is constantly exposed to high temperatures, which can degrade the internal electronics. Another common cause is contamination. Oil vapor from the positive crankcase ventilation system, carbon buildup, or dirt from a polysealed air intake can coat the sensor's delicate elements. Electrical issues can also cause failure. Worn wiring, corroded connectors, or bad grounds may result in erratic readings. In some cases, incorrect installation or tampering during aftermarket modifications can cause sensor misalignment or calibration errors, leading to improper function. Understanding these causes helps prevent the issue from returning after repair. How this tiny sensor destroys your fuel economy. A failing manifold absolute pressure sensor sends incorrect pressure readings to the engine's computer, which causes poor fuel calculations. If the sensor reports less pressure than there actually is, the computer thinks there's less load on the engine and reduces fuel delivery. This results in a lean fuel mixture, which can cause hesitation, knocking, and potential engine damage. On the other hand, if the sensor over-reports pressure, the computer increases fuel delivery, resulting in a rich mixture. This not only wastes fuel, but can cause carbon buildup and foul spark plugs. Either scenario can tank your fuel economy, sometimes by as much as 20 to 30%. It's a small part that plays a massive role in how efficiently your engine runs. Manifold pressure sensor versus mass air flow sensor. Know the difference. Many people confuse the manifold absolute pressure sensor with the mass air flow sensor because both deal with airflow. However, they function very differently. The manifold pressure sensor measures the pressure within the intake manifold, while the mass air flow sensor measures the amount of air entering the intake system. Some vehicles use both sensors, while others use only one, depending on the engine design. Misdiagnosing one for the other can lead to unnecessary repairs. That's why it's important to know what your specific vehicle uses and how each sensor affects fuel delivery and ignition timing. How to test if the sensor is bad. Before replacing anything, you should test the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Start by visually inspecting the sensor for any signs of damage, corrosion, or loose wiring. Look closely at the vacuum hose, if your car uses one, to make sure there are no cracks or disconnections. A basic scan tool that reads live data can help you observe how the sensor responds to throttle changes. 
at idle, the pressure reading should be consistent. As you rev the engine, you should see a smooth change in values. If the numbers jump erratically or seem stuck, the sensor is likely failing. For a more thorough test, a multimeter can be used to check the voltage at the sensor's terminals. Refer to your vehicle's service manual for proper voltage ranges based on engine load. Can you clean the sensor instead of replacing it? In some cases, a data sensor can be cleaned to restore function. Use only electronic parts cleaner or sensor-safe throttle body cleaner. Never use harsh chemicals or scrub the sensor. Remove the sensor, spray it gently, and let it dry fully before reinstalling. Do not use compressed A or poke at the sensor with tools, as the internal elements are delicate. If the issue was due to contamination, cleaning may solve it. But if cleaning doesn't restore function or if the sensor is damaged, replacement is your best option. How to replace the sensor the right way? Replacing a manifold absolute pressure sensor is generally a straightforward job that can be completed with basic tools. First, disconnect the battery to ensure safety. Locate the sensor, usually mounted directly on the intake manifold or nearby, and disconnect the electrical connector. Remove any screws or bolts holding it in place and gently pull the sensor out. Before installing the new one, inspect the sensor port for any carbon buildup or residue. Clean it if necessary. Then, insert the new sensor, tighten it securely, reconnect the wiring, and finally reconnect the battery. Clear any stored trouble codes using a scan tool and take the vehicle for a test drive. You should notice smoother idle, better throttle response, and improved fuel efficiency if the sensor was the root issue. Common is used by vehicle brand, Ford, Chevrolet, Toyota, and Honda. On Ford models, especially those with older engines, the manifold pressure sensor is often located near the throttle body, where it can easily be affected by heat and oil vapors. Chevrolet engines, particularly trucks, may experience cracked sensor housings or failing gaskets that allow unmetered air to enter. Toyota vehicles can develop brittle vacuum hoses that cause intermittent sensor issues, especially in high mileage models. Honda models often place the sensor in tighter engine bays, making it vulnerable to heat soak, which can reduce accuracy over time. Knowing your brand's common issues can help you locate and fix the problem faster. What to expect after the repair? Once the sensor is cleaned or replaced, most drivers will notice immediate improvement in engine performance. The idle will stabilize, throttle response will feel sharper, and fuel economy should gradually return to normal as the engine control unit recalibrates. If you're using a scan tool, you can monitor fuel trims and pressure readings to confirm the fix. In most cases, once the sensor is working correctly, the check engine light will stay off and the vehicle will operate smoothly. If symptoms persist, consider inspecting related systems like the throttle body, vacuum lines, and fuel delivery components.